Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Mothership and today I'm bringing you an informative and educational video along with a little story time about my health journey and the birth control that I have chosen to have for the past 10 years. I can't believe it's been that long. I had the Mirena inserted when I was a little over 14. Uh, if you get to the end of this video, I'll kind of explain why I got one so early, but the majority of you are here because you'd like to know the pros and the cons of the Mirena IUD birth control. We as a society have to get to a point where talking about blood and our bodies is fine, it's normal. It's normal. So to get started, I just want to tell you what a Mirena is for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. The Mirena is an intrauterine device, IUD. It's a little T-shaped piece of plastic that's inserted into the uterus to provide as birth control. There are three types of IUDs. There is the Mirena, the Skyla, and there's also the Lileta. So jumping right into it, I wanna start with the pros. There are so many more pros than cons to this. Now, before you get birth control, I think you should do your research because everyone is different and everyone has a different body. So what might work for someone may not work for someone else. So I just wanna put that as a disclaimer that this is my story, it's my journey. The first pro about the Mirena is that it is the most effective birth control device. There is a failure rate of 0.7%. That beats any other birth control. Basically, you ain't getting pregnant. You don't like when I YouTube, do you? <laughs> now, of course, any doctor is going to tell you that since there isn't a 100% success rate of not getting pregnant that you still need to use condoms. So secondly, the Mirena is super convenient. It basically takes five minutes in the doctor's office to insert it and it's very similar to a pap smear except a little bit more uncomfortable and weird. Um, so you really, like, you don't have to go under anesthesia to put the device in. It's so tiny. For some people, it's a breeze. Now, put yourself in my shoes, someone who is 14, 14 and a half, not very sexually active, doesn't know how to relax down there. It was very painful for me. Also, if you have not have children, your cervix hasn't opened to have a kid yet. So they're putting the device in your cervix. So if you haven't had a kid, that part of your body is going to be a little more constricted and it's going to be a little more uncomfortable. It's convenient because it's inserted very quickly, but a con could be that it is painful. Perhaps your doctor could give you something to relax before. That would be very beneficial because you do want to relax your muscles down there when that is happening. So a pro of the Mirena is if you have insurance, it could possibly, if not the whole thing, be covered. I know with insurance times keep changing and not everything, especially with birth control, is covered, which is just total crap to me. But uh, at the time, it cost little to nothing for me to get it and it was a one-time thing, so it's not something that you have to pay monthly for like birth control pills. It's just a one-time deal. So you got five years where you don't really have to invest anything in regards to your period unless you're getting tampons and pads, etc. So a con to that would be if you don't have insurance, well, how much is it going to cost? When it comes down to it, uh, Mirena IUD can vary between $600 to $2,600. But again, that is an investment in yourself and your health. Huge pro to the Mirena is that you don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's just in there and it's doing the work for you. So another pro to the Mirena is that your fertility goes right back to normal once they take it out. You can always just get this thing taken out if you want. Most doctors will remove it free of charge if you are experiencing uh, uncomfortable symptoms. It's you know, just like going back to get another pap smear, you know, they go in, go out, and you're done. The next pro I have is probably my ultimate, ultimate favorite thing about this Mirena, and is the entire reason I got one, is because it reduces up to 90% of your period blood. <laughs> as lovely as that sounds, it decreases your uh, blood and ovulation so 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 much some of us who have this device like myself have little to no period 
Uh, some of the first few years I did have this device, I didn't even know when I was on my period because I wasn't bleeding during it. This also depends with how long you've had the device versus at the beginning or towards the end. But just with the hormone that it has in it, it decreases over time. So you can reach to a point where you really have no period and you're not investing in pads or tampons because you simply don't need them. It's a huge inconvenience when you have a heavy flow. Yes, it is a beautiful function of being a woman, but it can be an inconvenience at times. And that is my favorite part about the Marina, is that it controls um, that flow and really lessens it and just makes one less thing to worry about in our lives. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the hormone in the Marina. The hormone is called Levonorgestro. Levon or just Gistru. I have no idea how to say that, but it is the steroid type drug that is used in the IUD device and it's the uh, ingredient or drug, whatever you want to call it, that's in most birth controls. It only uses one tenth of the amount that most birth control pills use. So you're getting a much lower dose of it. It does affect everyone differently. So for me, the pro is the low amount it offers and was ultimately the reason why I stuck with the IUD. All right, you guys ready to get into the cons of the Mirena IUD. Back to that drug that's in the birth control, the Levondrostrol. That drug can cause anxiety, depression, headaches, hair loss, weight gain, excessive cramps, acne, all the things you'd love to hate. <laughs> so I didn't experience all of those, but the number one I experienced was acne. Until this day, at 25 years old, I have adult acne. I have full coverage on right now, but I, for years, have been battling painful, deep cystic acne and it's all in my lower cheeks and my chin and my lip I, I there's really nothing up here but it's all from that drug <laughs> ah! and there's really nothing you can do because it's all coming from the inside so unless you are on Accutane you are just gonna have to live with the effects of um, a little more pimples. Again, it could just be a lot worse for me. So another con is that the Mirena IUD does increase your chances of yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis, also known as BV. These are things related to the bacteria imbalance that the Mirena could cause. Um, these are not sexually transmitted diseases. I've always been really sensitive. I have to use a fragrance-free soap. There's a lot of free information online about what you can do for your bacteria health. When you first get this device, the first few weeks, the first few months, even up to the first six months, you're going to experience the symptoms from that steroid drug, cramping or irregular spotting or bleeding. Those might be extreme or high or low that first bit of time after you get it and that's just very common and I just wanted to note that because you hear of girls getting it and then getting it removed the next week because they're like oh my god you know I'm still bleeding as much or I feel like I'm going crazy and you know it's just one of those things you have to give it a little time to work through your system to regulate and then you're good. So we all deal with cramps and another con of the Mirena IUD is the intensity of cramps you might have. Uh, so for me I've always struggled with very painful cramps. It's really just how you manage them but what the Mirena can cause is ovarian cysts. Sometimes you can feel these on your ovaries when you're on your period, and I myself have many times. So ovarian cysts can usually resolve themselves on their own, but if it's ever too painful or if you feel something that doesn't feel right, it's always good to go get checked out. I myself have gotten checked out before when I felt like something was a little more than a cyst, something that they might have to remove, and luckily they didn't. But this can happen with anyone, Mirena or not, um, but the Mirena does increase those chances. Again, with management, my best tips are applying CBD oil directly to the skin where my ovaries are. Uh, heating pads, there is one heating pad in particular that 
is way better than one that you have to plug in the wall. It lasts nearly all night. I'll sleep with it on. I'll get some chocolate and some whiskey and you'll be fine. We all have cramps. If this was a pros and cons video about just having a period, that would be a con no matter what. I'm not really sure what the pros are of having a period. I guess just not having children, but... I want to go back to talking about the pain of, of the insertion and the removal. Um, I did get mine inserted so young and my body did grow and change over time. Before the removal, they gave me a medication that helped my cervix contract. And they do this to kind of open the gateways for them to remove it. Now, keep in mind, if you're taking some medicine that makes your cervix contract, you basically feel like you're about to have a baby. I was one of the unlucky ones where the strings at the bottom of the device ended up curling up around the device, which inevitably my doctor could not remove it himself because uh, they used the strings to take it out. So I had to go under anesthesia and get it removed and replaced at the same time. So when I was on my first Mirena, I did take a round of Accutane, which I will have to discuss in another video, but Accutane is a very serious acne drug, um, but it does work from the inside and it was the only thing that suppressed the acne that I was having while also having the IUD. Now depression, anxiety, all that stuff runs in my family so it's already in my gene pool and this IUD just gives me that 10% extra that I totally don't need so there are days where particularly when I'm PMSing where I feel, let's put it this way, all I see is red. I can get so, so, so evil. <laughs> And I'm a Scorpio, so just add that into the mix. Words can't even describe the PMS that I experience once a month. We all experience it, some more than others, but that's the, the joy of being a woman. So I wanted to recommend a period tracking app because when you're on the Mirena and say you're not really bleeding during your period, you still want to track and know when you are cycling just to be aware of your body and all that good stuff. I think it's really important, especially like if you're trying or not trying to get pregnant to know when you're ovulating, when you're on your period, and just in general, knowing when it's about to happen. Um, it's always nice when someone can give you a heads up and say, hey, you're two weeks away, or hey, you're a few days away. It's, it's just nice. So I use this app called Clue, and I've told a lot of my followers about it, but every single day you can tell Clue if you have cramps, if you have a headache, what your mood is, um, if you're ovulating, if you're on your period, what your sex drive is, and it keeps all this information for you into this nice little cycle. It tells you when you're PMSing or when you're about to PMS, which is super helpful for me because I have my days where I am so moody and so grumpy and it's nice to go, oh, well, of course I'm PMSing. That makes sense, I'm not just crazy. Another great thing about this is when you go to the doctor, they usually ask you when your last period is and I'm always like, I don't know, but now I can look in my phone and and simply tell her the exact date and time I had my period, etc. So those are my pros and cons of the Mirena IUD. Excuse me. I highly recommend this device. I have really enjoyed my journey on it. I am on my second device and this year I will be due for my third. And again, I might consider the smaller one that lasts three years because there are even less hormones which could inevitably help with the suppression of my acne and the uh, excessive PMSing and cramps and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so now we're at the end of this video. If you stayed this long, you get the extra little fun story of why I got an IUD in the first place. So I got my period very early in life. I was probably in sixth grade. It was very overdeveloped, very fast, very quickly. Um, life was lovely and awkward and so much fun at that time. Um, so of course the excessive bleeding, heavy flow decided to uh, consume me and the most difficult thing was uh, school because we had a very strict like bathroom policy. If one person took the pass to the bathroom, you had to wait till they got back. 
And for me, I would have, you know, a tampon in and would need to go change my tampon. And maybe the person with the pass wasn't back yet. Uh, and most likely teachers wouldn't even let you use the bathroom more than once during class or that at all. Um, so I was very self-conscious. You just, you hear horror stories about bleeding through your pants and all that good stuff. It was just very uncomfortable. You know, who wants to carry a box of tampons with them in sixth grade? So then we got into seventh grade and I got um, on the cheerleading squad and we started going to these like away games away from school. And if I was on my period, I always had to prepare for this. Now, if you've been a cheerleader, you know that you have to wear those big diaper panties under your skirt and thank goodness our color was navy blue had it not I would have been in trouble um, but I got to the point where I had to wear two tampons at the same time just to make sure I wouldn't bleed through it was just an anxious time uh, so you know my mother being in the medical field she felt that hormonal treatment with birth control could help benefit me from this uh these situations this was a time where the morena was finally in a place where doctors uh, did studies where they could use it in women who had not had kids yet so i was a candidate to try that and we did and everything was smooth sailing from then it was a really really great option for me so there you have it those are the pros and cons of the morena iud for me and that's my birth control story i hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave a huge thumbs up if this video helped you benefited you um, helped you decide or not decide to proceed with this type of birth control if you'd like more informative health videos leave a comment below i'd love to know your thoughts subscribe if you want to see next week's video and again thank you for watching love you guys i'll see you on the next one peace be with you